This video demonstrates the use of the optimal recloser placement function, which is part of the reliability analysis module. Study case 5.3 of the MV distribution network example should be activated. Reliability assessment is used to assess a network's response to possible faults and quantify, in terms of standard indices, the reliability of the customer supply. Commonly used indices include ENS, or energy not supplied, SIFE, which is the system average interruption frequency index, and SID, which is the system average interruption duration index. Having assessed the reliability of a network in this way, a logical next step is to determine how these indices might be improved. One possibility for optimizing the reliability is the introduction of additional recloser capability, that is, the capability of switches to reclose after a transient fault. For example, this switch has been configured to act as a reclosing device and would make three attempts to reclose if a fault were seen. This means that for a transient fault, the associated circuit would be quickly restored. This is beneficial for the reliability of the network. Optimal recloser placement can be used to find additional switches that could also act as reclosers, using an optimization process to identify the best locations. In this study case, the lines in this part of the network have been modeled as overhead lines, which are of course susceptible to transient faults caused by lightning strikes. If we color the network according to feeders, We can see that these two feeders, FD01 and FD02, are relevant, so our calculations will focus on these. The optimal recloser placement command is found in the optimal power restoration toolbox, here. This link is used to access the associated reliability assessment command. The command has been configured to consider faults associated with the two feeders FD01 and FD02. The candidate locations for the recloser functionality will be determined as any relevant circuit breakers that do not yet act as reclosers, excluding those which protect cables. There are three possible objective functions for the optimization. We will opt to minimize the energy not supplied. With these settings, we are able to decide how the reclosers should be placed. Here, we specify that a maximum of two locations should be selected for additional recloser placements. Two additional reclosers may not of course be sufficient, but the process can be repeated from the new starting point, as often as is required. This setting means that no more than one recloser will be placed in any one feeder. This number is used when assessing my fee, the momentary average interruption frequency index. It will also be used as the setting in any switch that is identified as a new recloser. When the calculation is run, the resulting changes to switches will be recorded in a network variation. On the results page, we will deselect this option to automatically generate reports after the analysis, and focus first on what the optimization process does. Let us now execute the command. We can see that two new reclosers have been placed by the optimization process. Let us look at the switches that have been identified. These are also indicated on the diagram. The changes made to the switches can be seen in a variation manager. Now let us run the reports to see the impact of the change. On this first page, 
we see the resulting improvement in ENS, the energy not supplied, as well as in EIC, the energy interruption costs, and PsiD, the system average interruption duration index. As expected, MIFE, the momentary average interruption frequency index, is now higher, because some long outages would be replaced by momentary interruptions. On this page, we see the calculated potential impact for each of the candidate switches. Filtering in this column, we again see the two identified switches, one in each feeder. And we can see the impact that each has had on the reliability indices. As mentioned earlier, further optimization is possible. The calculation can be repeated as often as required, to establish more e-closer locations. Or indeed the calculation can be carried out with a larger number of re-closer placements requested. Together with optimal remote control switch placement, the optimal re-closer placement function offers great potential for improving network reliability.